Wolf is a framework in C++ for state estimation in robotics. The estimation problem is structured in a tree of nodes that we call the Wolf tree. The top node problem contains three branches, hardware, trajectory, and map. The hardware branch, with the robot's sensors and processors, is created at configuration time. The rest of the tree is populated during the mission. The trajectory has a list of frames representing a snapshot of the system at a specific time instant. Each frame has captures of raw data, with extracted features with factors. The map has a list of landmarks. The wolf tree is interpreted as a factor graph, which is repeatedly solved by the solver. All wolf nodes are implemented in C++ classes. Deriving the base classes we can implement specific instances of each node. Let's focus on the processors, constituting the front ends. We have abstract classes that implement generic motion pre-integration, tracking of features and landmarks, and loop closure search. For instance, the processor IMU inherits from processor motion and implements an IMU pre-integration with bias calibration. Using the same abstract algorithm, the processor diff drive integrates 2D motion with calibration of the differential drive model, and processor force torque pre integrates forces and torques into 3D motion. To simplify the development and to structure the code, these classes are organized in plugins corresponding to particular sensor topologies and or processing algorithms. We offer ROS integration, with a unique ROS node that serves all applications, and a set of subscribers and publishers organized in packages. The configuration in Wolf is done using YAML files. From one or more YAML files, the Wolf tree will be set up automatically and the required plugins and packages will be loaded. We will start with a very simple toy example. In debug, we can enable some tools for debugging. Inside problem, we specify some global parameters like the frame structure, dimension of the problem, the prior, and the tree manager. So far, the tree manager can be none or sliding window. The solver parameters have to be specified as well. Using follow, we can put parameters in a different YAML file. In sensors, there is the list of the sensors of our setup. We'll start with just an odometer. Also, there is the list of processors. In this first example, just the odometry processor. For each sensor, there should be a ROS subscriber responsible for translating ROS messages to Wolf captures. Finally, in ROS publishers we have the Wolf outputs. In this first example, we have a publisher for the ROS TF and another for visualizing a metric representation of the graph. To run the application we can use a simple ROS launch file. We will play a ROS bag, launch the RViz and the Wolf ROS node with a single parameter specifying the path of the configuration YAML file. After launching, in RViz we can see the TF and the graph represented as a set of frames and a set of lines representing the factors. Now, we will add a litter 2D sensor using the plugin laser. To do so, we will add four new items to the YAML file. 1. The sensor of type sensor laser 2D. 2. A second odometer processor ODOM ICP based on ICP algorithm. 3. The corresponding ROS subscriber. And 4. A publisher of two laser-based maps. A point cloud and an occupancy grid. Launching again, we can visualize the two maps. We observe a drift in the estimation since we are only adding factors between consecutive frames. We can cancel this drift by adding the processor loop closure ICP that will try to close loops between pairs of laser scans. If we launch again, now we can see in green the loop closure factors created by this new processor. We see how the loop closures help to remove the drift. Using other YAML files we can run completely different applications, such as a visual inertial system with April tags, requiring the plugin's vision, April tag, and IMU, or a GNSS inertial system using IMU and GNSS plugins. Wolf is open source and open to collaboration.